This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up. Hi, I'm Nick Saletti here on a Tuesday with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona with the demand for COVID tests increasing. Embry Health is making changes to try to keep up with demand and keep people from waiting long hours in line. The company telling us they're adding lines there, also self swab testing, and they're bringing in administrators to help man these sites. We've opened up all lanes. It's all hands on deck. Um, especially with the self swabbing, we have people who have looked at uh, training and, and done some um, reviews that they're able to direct people accordingly to self swab. The CEO of Embry Health said he was going to put in a request with Governor Doug Ducey's office for the National Guard to help staff these sites. The governor's office tells us they haven't gotten any requests just yet. We have snow in the high country and we have snow in southern Arizona as well. So grab your gear and hit the slopes. I was uh, so excited last night just to see him uh, open it up that I called in today at work. Oh, OK. Hopefully his boss doesn't see this. Mount Lemon, which is northeast of Tucson, officially opening up to skiers this week after the area got some big snowfall. The manager of the mountain says they got a lot of first timers on the mountain from skiers to snowboarders. Snowboarding is a lot cooler than I thought it would be. <laughs> it hurts, but it's fun. Both of them are pretty hard, I will say. The mountain doesn't make any artificial snow, but hopes they can keep skiers and snowboarders coming to the mountain by moving around until the next snowfall. We've been telling you a lot about staffing shortages in a lot of industries, so instead of waiting for potential employers to walk through the door, some places are turning to robots. Hotels in California are using the bots to do simple tasks like room service. If you're thirsty or hungry, just wait and order. You don't have to tip it. Um, you know, there's no, there's no obligation. There's no handout, um, and um, and you don't even have to get dressed for it. There's guests that like that, the fact that they can have items deliver and not have that contact with the human being. And it, again, it, it's more of a enhanced experience than it is replacing someone. Other robot service there, they say it cuts wait times down to less than 30 minutes, and it's also on call 24/7. Hot and ready. Come and get it. No longer $5, though. If you've ordered a Little Caesars pizza recently, you may have noticed a price increase. The company officially announcing the pizza is now $5.55. It's an 11% increase. The $5 pizza has been around since 2001. Looking for a meatless option? Chipotle is offering meatless chorizo for a limited time. It's certified vegan with 16 grams of protein. It's pretty good. The company also launching lifestyle bowls, focusing on the Whole30, vegetarian, and vegan bowls. Smart shoppers, we've got a new tip for you. This one from Renee and Chandler. It's an easy discount for some of you. You can get it 12 times a year by shopping at most Valley grocery stores. So here's the catch. If you're a senior on the first Wednesday of each month, that's tomorrow, you can get 10% off your bill at Fry's. You have to have a Fry's card. It doesn't apply to things like booze, unfortunately, but you can also combine it with other discounts and coupons, maybe even get some cash back. Bashes, Safeway, Albertsons, they also offer this discount on the first Wednesday of every month. Just check with your local store for the details. We have even more savings tips and deals. Just head to our website, abc15.com slash smart shopper, and we want to share your smart shopper tips. Email them to smart shopper at abc15.com. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. High clouds will spill in across our state at times as storm systems pass to our north. That's the case today. This morning across northern Arizona, a few clouds drifting into the valley too. But otherwise, we're going to see mostly clear skies as we go through the day today. In fact, those clouds will thin on out and clear out as we go through the morning this afternoon. Look for sunny skies rather across the state. The next few days, a few clouds spilling in at times, but again, staying dry. And that seven day forecast still looks dry too across the valley and across the state. Just a slight chance for snow showers in northern Arizona this weekend. So great weather if you want to be outdoors. Layer up in the mornings. It's going to be cold to start the days, but the afternoons will be nice and conditions look good and dry through the afternoons and really through the entire day. Highs in the 40s to 50s in northern Arizona today will reach 65 for a high today in Phoenix. Across the valley, temperatures in the 60s today and tomorrow and then upper 60s Thursday with 70s on Friday. Uh, another update tonight. So then get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com. Just download our free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 flash briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up.